Now, once the ER model is built, let us try to understand how do I convert that ER model to a table format. So in case, uh, first step is if we have a regular entity, for each entity, we should create a table and we should identify the key attributes and we should specify it as the primary key. The next is weak entity. Now for the weak entity, we should create a table and the primary key of the strong entity has to be included in the weak entity as the foreign key. And the primary key of the weak entity will be the combination of the primary key of the strong entity set and the partial key of the weak entity set. Now, in case if there are one to one relationship, this can be done in two ways. One is the foreign key approach and the other one is merged relation option. So now the foreign key means a foreign key has to be included in the other relationship. So now in this case, uh, the department has a manager that managers employee number can be included as a foreign key in the department table. And or the other one is merged relation option. The two relationship can be merged because they are one to one. The next is one to n relationship. Now for one to n relationship, it should be included as foreign key again. So uh, for example, works for an employee works for the department. So in that case, the department number can be included as a foreign key in the employee table. The next is M, uh, M to N relationship, many to many relationship for which we create a new table and the primary key of both the tables are to be included uh, in the new table as the foreign key and whatever other attributes are there. So for example, many employees work on many projects for some number of hours. So in the new table, I will have the SSN and the project number and the attribute hours. These three will be included. So in case if there are multi-valued attributes, again, a new table has to be created with uh, one foreign key and the uh, multi-value at attribute, whatever it is. The next is mapping of NRE relationship type. We shall see this with the help of an example. So here supply has supplier part project. These three have these uh, as, as name, part number and project name as the primary key. There might be other attributes also. So let us see how do you convert it into table. So S name, project name, part number. For each entity, there will be one table and supply will have the primary key of all as foreign keys here and the additional attribute. So here, now let us see each one by one. F name, this is some other attribute, uh, the middle name or the initials and the last name, SSN, birth date, address, sex, salary, uh, supervisors, SSN, department number. See, one employee belongs to several departments. So that was a one to end relationship. The department number here, it is included as the foreign key here. So one to many relationship can be shown using a foreign key. This is the supervisor's SSN, again referring to the main SSN. The department has department name, department number, manager's SSN. This will again refer to employee SSN and manager's start date. This was a multi-valued attribute. Now, when it is a multi-valued attribute, I should include the foreign key and whatever is the multi-valued attribute. The project included the project name, project number, project location and it belonged to some department. So this was included over here. This, this is a foreign key which is referencing this primary key. Works on was a many to many relationship. Employee SSN, project number, it is referring to this and ours was an additional attribute. Now the dependent, dependent, dependent again employee SSN because the main entity, the strong entity is 
uh, employee so it is see it is referring to as you can see by the arrow it is referring to employee ssn the dependent name is the partial key every and all other attributes are there so basically an entity type becomes a relation one to one or one to n can be shown using foreign key many to many will form a new relation and there will be two foreign keys if i have n array relation it will be a new relation and n foreign keys simple attribute is included as simple attribute composite attributes is also a set that is many simple attributes together but if i have a multi valued attribute i include a new relation and with the foreign key and the multi valued attribute how do i specify the value set the domain i can specify it and the key attribute is the primary key 